Hello everyone, welcome back to Xiaomi's Photography Masterclass. I'm Sandeep and I'm super excited to dive into today's topic with you. In our last episode, we introduced you all to the amazing world of shutter speed. How fast and slow shutter speed play an important role and aspect in our photography journey. We also explored the different creative possibilities which are possible with varying shutter speeds. And today, we're shifting our focus to another essential element in photography, that is aperture. In today's episode, we'll be talking about aperture, how aperture affects image making from the way it influences exposure to its role in shaping the depth of field. And speaking of depth of field, we'll be diving deeper into that topic as well. Ever wondered how to achieve those dreamy blurred backgrounds while keeping your subject perfectly sharp? Well, aperture is the key, my friends. Oh, and stick around because we'll also be talking about the variable aperture feature in the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. This is a game changer for all photographers out there and we'll also show you how to make the most out of it. So what is aperture? Well, at its core, aperture is like the pupil of your camera's eye. It controls the amount of light entering the lens, affecting exposure, depth of field, as well as the image sharpness. So you see, when we talk about aperture, we'll be talking about f-stops. These f-stops actually determine how much light hits your camera sensor at any given point of time. This is pretty crucial in photography because it directly affects the brightness as well as the depth of field in your shots. All right, let's break down how aperture affects your photos. When you widen the aperture, indicated by a smaller f-stop number, it lets in more light. And what does that mean for your pictures? Well, of course, they come out more brighter and more vibrant because of all that extra light flooding in through the lens. Conversely, when you opt for a narrower aperture by using a larger f-stop number, it actually restricts the amount of light entering your smartphone or camera. This results in darker images. So if you're going for that moody, low-light vibe or aiming to capture rich, deep tones, playing around with narrower apertures can really enhance your photography. But aperture isn't just about exposure. It also plays a very crucial role in determining depth of field, such as shallow depth of field or narrow depth of field. When you use a wider aperture, it's like you're opening up a whole new dimension in your photography. It creates this beautiful shallow depth of field that's just perfect for portraits. Take a look at this image, for instance. You know, it's that dreamy effect where your subject is sharply focused and stands out brilliantly against a soft blurred background. It's like putting all the spotlight onto your main subject and letting everything else fade gracefully into the background. Now let's dive into some cool ways to use wide apertures. You know, wide apertures aren't just about getting a blurry background or a sharp subject. They open up a world of creative possibilities. For starters, you can play with depth of field to really isolate your subject and make it pop against the background. But it's not just about that either. You can also use wide aperture to experiment with bokeh those beautiful out-of-focus areas that can add dreaminess or magical touch to your photos. Plus, wide apertures let in more light, which can be super handy in really low-light situations. So yeah, let's get creative and see what we can come up with using wide apertures. Take this image for instance. In this stunning macro shot, you'll find a mesmerizing chameleon with bold orange stripes gracefully settled on the rim of a tree trunk set against a deep, shadow-like backdrop. The magic lies in the low light setting where we opted to use a wide aperture of f2. The choice allowed us to isolate the million from its surroundings and creating a striking contrast that accentuates its presence. Moreover, by widening the aperture, every delicate feature of the million comes to life with exceptional clarity and depth. From its vivid hues to the intricate textures, this image captures the essence of the moment with unparalleled brilliance. Now look at this image. This is from a Tayyam festival in Kerala. It's a wide shot that really captures the essence of celebration and the entire atmosphere. The whole scene is lit up by the glow of the fire, casting these intriguing shadows on people's faces. What's striking is how vivid the colors are, especially thanks to the Xiaomi Leica camera image capabilities. Even though it was nighttime, the photo maintains its dynamism because it was shot with a wide aperture of f1.6 with a Xiaomi 14. This allowed enough light to seep in and beautifully capture the rich details of the event. Now let's take a look at another image. For this shot, I wanted to make the subject stand out from a background, so I chose a wide open aperture on my Xiaomi 14. This is perfect for achieving the dreamy bokeh effect and shallow depth of field. 
It gives the photo a nice crispy look, making the subject look stunning and telling a special story. It's amazing how such a seemingly small technical decision can really enhance the storytelling aspect of any photo. By isolating your subject against a blurred background, you draw the viewer's attention to what matters the most, allowing them to fully immerse themselves in the moment you're capturing. Additionally, with Xiaomi 14, co-engineered with Leica, you can notice remarkable crispiness and clarity in the images thanks to the wide aperture and precision engineering. This partnership and co-engineering has truly enhanced the visual experience, enabling us to provide exceptional image quality that meets the highest of standards. If you go for a narrower aperture, you're actually increasing the depth of field. And this is super handy when you're taking photos of landscapes or group photos where you want everything and everyone to be in focus. So instead of just focusing on one subject, you can capture the entire scene with clarity from the foreground all the way to the background. It's perfect for those wide angle shots where you want to showcase the beauty of the surroundings or make sure that every single person in the group shines. Let's jump into the creative possibilities of using a narrow aperture. It's pretty cool what you can do with it. See, when you use a narrow aperture, you're letting in less light, but you're also increasing your depth of field. That means you can have more details and focus, which opens up a world of creative opportunities. You could play around with capturing intricate textures emphasizing foreground elements while keeping the subject at a background, or even experimenting with artistic compositions. There's so much you can explore and create once you start delving into possibilities of using a narrow aperture. So whatever we saw now was electronic aperture, but what about physical aperture? Our Xiaomi 14 Ultra comes with a variable stepless aperture that allows you to adjust its camera aperture from f1.63 all the way to f4. Now, what exactly is variable aperture, you ask? Well, it's like having a superpower for your camera lens. Imagine being able to adjust the aperture size on the fly, depending on lighting conditions or the creative effect that you want to achieve. As photographers, we snap photos in all kinds of lighting conditions, right? Well, with this stepless variable aperture, it's like having a super smart system that adjusts seamlessly to whatever lighting situation that you're in. Whether it's a bright sunlight or dimly lit room, this feature has got your back, giving you more control over the shots. Think of it as your photography sidekick, helping you capture those perfect moments with just the right amount of light. And here's the fun part. Not only does it help you nail those well-lit shots, but it also lets you get creative with different effects. Want to make your subject pop against a beautifully blurred background? Well, here's the magic on the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, where you can just dial in to that wider aperture at f1.63, where you can make the subject stand out against an incredible bokeh effect in the background. But let's just say that you're on the street where you spot a kid playing. You want to capture every ounce of their joy, every playful expression in a single photo. Well, that's when a narrow aperture like f4 comes in handy, where its ability to retain and maintain sharpness and detail, you can snap away without worrying about missing out any of those precious moments or expressions or even for wide landscapes. To add on, capturing creative effects like mesmerizing starbursts of sun and city lights or fireworks has never been simpler. Thanks to Xiaomi 14 Ultra's variable aperture, achieving those effects just got a whole lot easier. All you have to do is tweak the aperture to f2 and you'll be snapping stunning shots with that magical starburst effect in no time. So in a nutshell, this f1.63 to f4 variable aperture on the Xiaomi 14 Ultra isn't just about taking great photos. It's about giving you the freedom to explore different lighting scenarios and unleash your inner creativity. In fact, in pro mode, you can go stepless and choose minute values such as f1.93 thanks to a stepless variable aperture. As we wrap up this episode about aperture, keep in mind that mastering this essential element of photography opens up a world of creative opportunities. Whether you're immersing yourself in stunning landscapes, capturing portraits, or delving into artistic experimentation, understanding aperture empowers you to control light, depth, and mood in your images. So embrace aperture, delve into its intricacies, and let your creativity shine through every frame. Keep clicking, keep learning, and keep pushing the boundaries of what you can achieve with any smartphone as well as your Xiaomi smartphone. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks to level up your photography skills. If you happen to try any of these, do give us a shout out on social media by tagging our social handles. Also use the hashtag Xiaomi 
X Leica as well as Xiaomi Masterclass and Xiaomi Behind the Lens. That's it from me guys. See you again very soon in the next episode. Xiaomi.